In a scathing broadside against the Duchess of Sussex, Rising Hollywood, it girl, Olivia Henson has unleashed a torrent of fury at Meghan Markle for allegedly shaming and degrading the glamorous gown the young starlet wore during her fairy tale Italian nuptials last summer. According to Henson, the formerly royal rebel took a series of unprovoked verbal shots at the show-stopping Valentino Couture dress the actress donned while swapping vows with dashing British producer Preston Howard during a lavish clifftop ceremony in Portofino back in July. Multiple sources have confirmed the sharp-tongued digs originated from an intimate pre-wedding lunch Meghan attended with her close friend and bride tribe member, actress Janina Gavankar. Olivia is still raging over the fact Meghan seemed to go out of her way to mock and deride one of the most important elements of her dream wedding day, the absolutely exquisite bespoke Valentino gown she wore to say her vows in front of loved ones, revealed one insider with close ties to both Henson and the bridal party in question. For a newlywed caught up in wedded bliss, it really stung and felt like an unnecessarily cruel attempt at ego-shaming by a grown woman who always preaches about female empowerment. While personal photographs and details from Henson's storybook Italian destination wedding to Howard were heavily guarded at the time, leaked social media footage captured the stunning 25-year-old wearing her breathtaking bridal couture as she exchanged handwritten vows under an archway of cascading pink and white roses. The ethereal silk bustier gown featured classic Renaissance detailing, shimmering hand-embroidered lace accents and a dramatically billowed skirt of rippling fabric flounces. Many top bridal designers and fashion publications gushed over the magnificently whimsical creation, with some heralding it as one of the best-dressed celebrity weddings of 2022. Legendary designer Vera Wong herself even declared Henson's look a fairy tale brought to life during an interview with Harper's Bazaar Bride. However, the glowing reviews and buzz seemed to irk Meghan Markle at some point down the line, as the free-speaking Duchess allegedly took aim at the dress during a visit with longtime friend and former Suits co-star Gavankar, who served as a bridesmaid in Henson's wedding party. According to multiple sources, Meghan couldn't resist poking fun at Henson's intricate handmade gown during the intimate pre-wedding lunch while marveling at just how, wildly over-the-top, and excessive it looked. It was said in this horrifically snarky tone, too like one of those typical rich girl brush-offs where an outfit or style is written off as just way too precious or garish for such a smug critic's own refined taste, one source claims of Meghan's alleged sneering assessment. Janina was squirming in her seat as her guest of honor trashed the bride's dress like this, acting all pretentious like she was descended from nobility or something. The source alleges that Meghan didn't stop with just general smugness over the supposedly busy and ornamental design but took the shocking opportunity to co-opt Olivia's entire dress narrative in service of her personal branding. The Duchess reportedly claimed she chose to wear a modest yet chic Givenchy gown for her own 2018 royal nuptials because she preferred effortless, sleek dresses that didn't overshadow or compete with the bride. In typical I'm the center of the universe style, Meghan made the lunch all about her wedding and her taste, loudly chirping how she wanted an easily forgettable bridesmaid's dress that let the bride shine unlike Olivia's big flowery walking meringue that she basically mocked as visually overwhelming to the entire wedding aesthetic, the insider recounted. She just rolled her eyes and said I guess some brides want all the attention on themselves. Not surprisingly, when word finally got back to Henson that her dream Valentino masterpiece had been dragged through the mud by some bitter, jealous former princess. The young leading lady was immediately infuriated, reportedly hurling her own seething criticism of Meghan in the heat of anger. Olivia truly felt violated by the comments, as if her entire wedding vision and look she poured her heart into designing had been callously disrespected and spoiled, the source disclosed. In one heated moment, she actually called Meghan, an obnoxious fame-starved phony who wouldn't know true sophistication if it slapped her in the face with its good taste. The animosity towards Meghan apparently runs far deeper than simply one verbal faux pas surrounding a fancy gown. Per the well-placed insider, Henson had long grown exasperated by the Duchess' endless self-involvement and royal high horse persona when it came to any successful career outside her hokey philanthropic side projects. Despite trying to stay friendly and cordial in the same Hollywood circle, Olivia has quite frankly never been a true fan of Meghan's at all, the source revealed bluntly. She thinks the woman is an obnoxiously shrill phony who walks around with her perpetually stuck-up nose in the air, lecturing everyone with her woefully self-important woke word salad of the day. Sorry, 
but she's just never been all that impressed with Meghan or her brand of lofty faux royalty. Indeed, Hollywood veterans and influencers alike have long sensed a widening disconnect between Meghan and her once formidable base of allies and supporters in the industry. From well-known falling outs with former Suits co-stars and staff over her rumored rude behavior to the even the Clooney's allegedly cutting ties, the former actress's personal brand has taken several very public bruisings of late. And for those who've kept watch over Markle's every calculated career move, the former deal or no deal briefcase girl's desperate ploys to make up for perceived status slights and cling to any morsel of waning clout have proven impossible to ignore, including recent instances of supposed gregarious over networking name dropping at some of Hollywood's most elite celebrity functions. Meghan's wildly insecure and just cannot accept the fact that she'll always be considered a D lister still trying to overcompensate for her place in the Z list actress rat race no matter how much snooty royalty she marries or how many millionaire titles they flit around with, remarked one particularly salty celebrity PR veteran with intimate insider knowledge. Everyone reads right through it and sees a cringy social climber with huge residual self-esteem issues left over from her days on the royal hot tub babe circuit. Given her checkered history with elite celebrity circles in and around Los Angeles and supposed jealousy complexes, Many observers have suggested Meghan may have indeed felt a fresh bout of resentment and bruised ego when it came to Olivia Henson's surging fame and glamour spotlight with her high-profile Italian dream wedding. Seen by some as the entertainment industry's most promising and refreshingly grounded ingenue since Emma Stone, Henson's ascending star power allowed her to essentially render Meghan's own heavily scrutinized royal nuptials as a distant memory for at least a weekend. Olivia represents the ideal golden girl image Meghan so desperately craves yet always seems to find maddeningly elusive, explained renowned televised royal biographer Winston Milbrook. She's young, elegant, loved by the public and media, and most importantly, thought of as wholly authentic with the class and sincerity completely missing from Brand Sussex. Milbrook added, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if Meghan's mean girl behavior toward the exquisite wedding dress stemmed from a bitterly jealous place after her own bungled series of gaffes and excessive brand overpromotion around her own bridal spectacle years ago. Not to mention her long seething resentments that those raised in genuine aristocratic grace tend to outshine her hungry social climbing at every turn. At the same time, Meghan's simmering feuds and perceived status battles with countless celebrities and world figures haven't just been dismissed as catty gossip by close followers of the Duchess, but rather seen as highly instructive examples of an unsettling pattern of thin-skinned outbursts and petulance stemming from unresolved self-identity issues.